Hey everybody, Monday morning chat here with head coach Dennis Williams. I'm Brian Tossi and coach, let's just kind of touch on the weekend here. Uh, after the trip to Youngstown, I know after the game you and I talked briefly uh, just about you know the, some of the struggles over the weekend and a lot, the big thing was, was the special teams this weekend for the team. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's so much the special teams or it was their discipline, I think it was even bigger. Um, you know, we, we knew going in that they have a uh, very good power play, they have very good hockey players, they're, they're coached well, they compete well. Um, we took a lot of penalties that we say they, they weren't really action, they weren't even really reaction. Uh, to me, they were just kind of lazy, silly penalties. And, uh, you know, when you're tripping guys, holding guys, cross checking, that means we're not playing the game right. So, um, we, we, as I said, our guys, you know, I, I got a lot of uh, no text messages after getting swept there. You know, it's all about the process, you know, and, and, and the learning the process. And I said, it's only good enough, though, I told our players, is if we do learn from it, you know, as, as if we know what we did wrong and, and what we need to do to counter it. But the execution wasn't there. I liked a little bit of our fight there in the second and third um, on Saturday's game. You know, down 3 nothing, made it 3-2, hit a crossbar there to tie it up 3-3, and it went the other way. But uh, you know we're we're just uh, we're fighting the puck right now on, on the power play, and, and with that we're taking risks that aren't very calculated risks, and you're seeing why they have uh, three short ending goals in the weekend. And just talking about some of those opportunities, it did seem like there were some pretty pretty solid opportunities for the team. It was just those turnover numbers, like we mentioned, and the penalty numbers that really uh, took away from it. So is it good to kind of take that away and say, guys, you know, this these were the problems, but here's some good things that we did over the weekend and learn from those as well. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what we did really well, to be honest. I watched the film a lot, and, and uh, you know, we worked hard. I, I don't know if we worked, what you say, is um, uh, smart. You know, like our work ethic's always there, but we need to execute better. We need to make uh, better decisions under, under the gun. Um, I don't know if the guys are just feeling comfortable, you know, going into the weekend or not, but uh, definitely a, uh, a learning process for not only the players, but for our staff. And, and, how we need to coach, how we need to educate, how we need to prepare our guys, and, and how they need to prepare. And uh, you can see quickly, even though it's early in the year, what you know, uh, uh, two losses do quickly for me. You go from whatever place you're into right out, and you know, it's it's a tight league. And uh, but it's it's a good learning curve for our guys. You no, know, and how good is it to learn now, games eight, and nine into the season, then all of a sudden towards the end of the year, you, you figured this out. Well, you always want to face some uh, tough times early, and you see what type of group you got. You know, you either got guys that pack it in and quit, or you got guys that take it on and try to keep going hard. And, um, you know, and that's what this week's going to be all about. We're going to find out who, who wants to be hockey players, who wants to. So I say to the guys, it's it's um, one thing to have the opportunity to play college hockey, but it's another thing to go to college and be ready to be a big time player. And uh, you know, facing a little bit of tough times is good. Uh, being held uh, uh, accountable is one of the things we do here. It doesn't matter who you are. Or, or where you played, or where you came from, or where you're going. Uh, we're all treated equally, and we're all expected to play a certain way. We're all expected to act a certain way on and off the ice, and you know, that's one thing we're, we do here. So we hold everybody accountable. If you're to ask them, I'm sure they'll tell you the same thing. And, um, there's no favorites on our team. There's no preferences. Um, everybody gets the amount of ice time they deserve, and according to us coaches, and you know it's it's all about making each other better. And, and the, the more accountability we have in, on our, in our locker room for each other and, and on the ice is, better off for we're going to be. And for a head coach to address something that, that is so a, a mental thing of staying disciplined on the ice, does that come uh, as just kind of small teaching points or is it lit, lay into just everyone in the locker room, the leaders in the locker room, especially for a first-year organization where you have your assistant captains, but not necessarily, it's kind of spread out. Does it come down to you guys just trying to focus on little things? Well, I, I, th I think it was obvious that we've... Uh, I think we're a little too loose. You know, that falls on my shoulders. You know, as, as a coach, and um, that's not going to happen again. You know, and, and uh, you know what, what I found out is is at this level in an old junior hockey, we, you know, is that uh, and, until you've, you've you've developed a culture in your locker room, you got to stay on it. You got to keep them honest. You got to make sure guys are, are battling every day. They're doing what they're told. Um, maybe it's doing the same. Uh, repetition 25 times till they get it, but you got to stay on until you've you've cultivated a good locker room. And it's not saying we've got a bad locker room at all, but we're still young at it, and and uh, you know, and, and when you start to get that, where guys are holding each other accountable more and more, the older guys, and, and but you know, the hard part is too, it's 
if you're an older guy and you're making those mistakes, how, how do you hold somebody else accountable? You know, so it's all about, um, you know, just developing a, a good locker room. And, and this is not just for this year, but it's a foundation for, for the next how many years we're here. You know, it's about building the right uh, foundation on work ethic, morals, uh, character, uh, doing what's right, you know, and, and uh, knowing that, um, you know, this is not a, a country club, you know, setting in there. We come here, we, we go to work, we get better. And as I said to the guys, you know, you work all week for 10 minutes after the game. You know, and I'm sitting in my office in Youngstown there, and, and they got the music going, you know, at 5.30 after their win. That's why they work hard all week, you know, so they can they can play their, their win song, you know, and the guys can have fun again. And that's that's where your hard work pays off, and that's when you start having fun is, is, is when you're winning. Because, you know, at the end of the day, no one likes losing. We don't play this game to lose hockey games. Everyone plays the game to win. And, and, Anyone who has fun losing is probably not going to be very successful in the world. So, as I said to our guys, you know, the only time we have fun is after good, hard-working games. And it, it may be, you know, sometimes you don't win the game. But as long as we actually work hard, it's going to give us a good chance to win a game and the puck's going to bounce here or there. But, you know, with, with uh, the way we prepare, the way we play this weekend, um, I didn't really see the fight in us. And, uh, you know, and again, uh, as you uh, pointed out, the special teams was just a disaster. But even worse than that, I thought it was a disappointment. So now you get to put the week a little bit behind you, in the back of your mind a little bit. you got a week to prepare now for Green Bay on Friday, and it's only a one-game weekend. How crucial is it to just kind of go about the week and, and make sure you address all these issues before Friday? Well, I don't. You know, it's I, – I don't know if I'd say it's crucial, you know, uh, Brian. I think it's a little bit more of uh, let's dissect and, and get better. You know, maybe the weekend, you know, was one that um, – you know, we didn't match up. Maybe well against them, and guys started panicking or, or whatnot. You know, or, or uh, you know, it's it's up for us as coaches just to realize that. You know, again, it is game ten. You know, we probably got to sit back a little bit and relax too a little bit. And, and um, but at the same time, you know, it is a great opportunity for us. We're we're, we're on a little bit of a tough skid here. You know, we lost two in a row to a, you know a very good hockey team. Um, but we want to get back to winning. And and again, if we look at what happened last time in Green Bay, <clears throat> you know, with the fact that. You know, we uh, when we play them, we beat them here. You know, if, they, if our guys think it's the same thing again, you know, we've talked about that. It's it's a whole new team. We haven't seen them in two weeks. They're playing uh, better. They're playing with confidence. They're moving pucks, and you know, we gotta we always gotta come out and, and get off this little hump we're on right now and, and get back to working hard. Well, coach, you're back this week for for work and uh, against Green Bay. Maybe the team can put this behind them and get them get right up back above 500 again. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll definitely do our darnest to keep them honest and get them working and. Um, it was nice to be back home. You know, it's it's nice to play in front of your fans, and you know the guys can stay in their own bed and rest. And but again, there's um, for this group here, and we've always said there's no excuses. You know, we, we we hold each other as a staff accountable, our players, and um, you know I think that's how we, we start to develop our locker room and our culture. And you know we're gonna we're more concerned about that right now than, than the wins. You know we want to start off on the right foot, obviously, with hockey teams, but we also want to do it right. And, and you know that's what we're really pushing for. Well, Coach, nice to see the hardworking team here on Friday. Yeah, you'll see him. Kind of see him. So we'll be back here on Friday. It's Halloween at 7 o'clock right here at the U.S. Cellular Coliseum when the Bloomington Thunder take on the Green Bay Gamblers. Don't miss out on that. Kids get into the game for 12 and under free if you're in a costume. So come on out and support the Bloomington Thunder as they get right back on track here on Halloween. For Coach Dennis Williams, I'm Brian Tossi. See you next week or this Friday if you're at the Coliseum.